Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a button or a GUI that will add statistics to your leader stats. If you don't know how to make leader stats, you can watch the tutorial I made yesterday, or you can just watch what I write here. I'm not going to explain it that much here because I'm just going to make this so I can show you how to add stuff to leader stats. So if you want to learn how to make leader stats, just watch my last video. It should help you a lot on how to do it. I'm just going to quickly make these leader stats. Alright, there you go. You can copy that if you want. Or if you want to learn how to make it, then just watch the last video. Alright, so now we're going to make the button. So when you start your GUI, you want to press the plus, insert your screen GUI. In screen GUI, you want to press the plus again, and you want to add a text button or an image button, both works. Now you can just design it how you want. You might already have a button that you want to make it click. I'm just going to add a little design to it so it's not so plain and bland. I'm just going to put it right here. Or right, now, press, uh, or you can name it anything. I'm just going to name it click it's about to click weird now you press the plus next to your button insert a local script now we're gonna get the local player local player equal equal game not player to local player this is basically an abbreviation so once you put in player it'll put in this entire section so it's like a shortcut now we're gonna get when somebody presses on the button so script dot parent dot mouse button one click to connect function so this is doing, s when the button is pressed, it'll run anything in here. Now we're going to do player dot leader stats dot coins or whatever you named your stats and such. Now value equal to player dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus however much you want. So every time you click, you get five in my instance. So it's getting the player's leader stats coin value. As you can see, when we load up the game. There will be a folder inside of our player, and then inside of that folder that we named, leader stats, there will be a value that we named coins, so it will show up up here. As you can see, if we go into workspace, or not workspace, players, local player, which is me, leader stats is a coins value, so every time we press the coins, as you can see, our coins value is going up, or it is changing up here. Every time we press on this button, so I'm, I hope this video helped you create your game. If you want to know how to make a nice little quick game using this system, you can watch my clicking simulator series, and goodbye.